Transportation The action of transport is defined as a particular movement of an organism or a thing from a point A to B. Modes of transport include air, land, water. The field can be divided into infrastructure, vehicles and operations. Transport enables trade between people, which is essential for the development of civilization. So, how transportation affecting our atmospheric environment? I am Yeshwan. Now, let us get in detail. The environmental impact of transport is significant because transport is the major user of energy and burns most of the world petroleum. This creates air pollution, including nitric oxide and particulates, and is a significant contributor to global warming through emissions of carbon dioxide. Within the transport sector, road transport is the largest contributor to global warming. The energy consumption in the transport sector is the main cause of pollution. There are significant differences in fuel efficiencies between various modes of transport. For example, consumption of energy in car is more among urban transport modes, although there has been a significant improvement in the fuel efficiencies in car and other automobiles. Now let us know what are the types of pollutions. Air pollution, noise pollution. So, what is air pollution and noise pollution? Air pollution. Transport is a major source of air pollution, not only in developed but in developing countries also. Ecologists believe that the rapid increase in numbers of vehicles on our roads, which has taken place without any real recession, is fast developing into an environment crisis. Exhaust fumes are the major source of atmospheric pollution by the motor vehicle. The main pollutants are carbon dioxide, unburned hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxide, the tidal lead and carbon dust particles. It is clear that very amount of pollutants are being emitted from various forms of transport into the air that we breathe. The emissions are also responsible for the increase in global warming. The most obvious way of achieving a reduction in pollution by motor vehicle is to reduce the emission of fumes at source. A short term solution is likely to be made by medication to present type of engines and improve combustion within the exhaust system. Another side effect of transport is the noise pollution. Traffic noise has a major impact on human health, yet it could easily be halved with the exciting technologies if more strength than limited were adopted. According to the World Health Organization, noise is secondary only to air pollution in the impact it has on health. It is a major cause not only of hearing loss but also of heart diseases, learning problems in children and sleep disturbance. We will check some solutions for this problem. The following common steps may be helpful in solving the problem of urban transportation. Sticker testing and controls on vehicles, experimenting with vehicle bans in city centers, creating more space for bicycles and public transport, make it green. Strickers testing and controls on vehicles. Nitrogen oxide emitted from cars harms our respiratory systems and may cause asthma. Diesel cars are said to emit NOx on average. Release six times as much nitrogen oxide as gasoline engines. Even new diesel vehicles emit so much nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere. Sticker car tests and controls are necessary to reduce emission. Since 2013, we are managed to monitor the emissions of pollutants from tracks and buses by using portable machinery equipment. Passengers' cars, however, are not tested on the road, which could be the next step towards lowering harmful emissions. Some cities have been developing their own solution to reduce air pollution. Paris, Madrid, and Athens have set out completely banned diesel cars from city street by 2025. While other cities have been implementing temporary diesel car ban to many smoke levels. Another way to tackle air pollution is to join the electric car revolution. Norway is the only country that have fully embraced those new opportunities. Promoting alternative forms of transport and mobility patterns can also reduce the harmful effect of air pollution, which affect climate change. Many cities are working towards relying less on cars as a mode of transportation, 
and investing in more public transportation and making the cities more accessible for bike by introducing bike lanes make it green planting vegetation can have a great impact a city air quality plant converts carbon dioxide into oxygen filters particulates out of the air and helps to cool down cities subject to the urban heat island planting greens plants in cities can reduce levels of two of the most harmful air pollutants by eight times more than previously believed in towns like Dawson special wards that serve as a bed planted with moss have been set up in order to clean the air one of these walls is supposed to filter as many particulates out of the air as 2200 trees before i wrap up this i'm sure that now you are aware of the importance of urban transportation and impact on environment we all have a role to keep our environment clean you must realize your responsibility is to is maintaining the transportation influence others with your energy and ideas a lot can be done if people work together hope you have enjoyed this one and let us know your comments on this video stay tuned for the next episode until then goodbye